Hey everyone, John Ferris here with a step-by-step video on updating our studio. If you're getting a pop-up window like this one, or maybe you already ignored it and now you're ready to update our studio, then this is the video for you. Do me a favor and take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And if at the end of the video you found it to be useful, be sure to hit that like button as well. Let's get to it. We're going to start by opening our studio. Now you may or may not get this pop-up window. If you do, then you haven't updated our studio recently and there's an update available. If you don't, you may have clicked remind later or ignore update. And if you've selected one of those two options, don't worry about it. Later in the video, I'm going to show you where you can check for updates, but the process is going to remain the same either way. We're going to exit our studio, go to the posit website and download some files. Now, I'm doing this on a Windows computer, so if you're a Mac user or some other operating system, I'm assuming the process is fairly similar. It's been a while since I've done this on a Mac, but you should be able to follow along and get the gist of it. So let's go ahead and continue. We are going to select the first option. This takes us to the Posit website. Now you notice there's option one and option two, install R and install R Studio. Remember, our studio is a GUI. It's a graphical user interface that overlays R. So there's two programs. In this video, we're only going to update our studio. At this time, R may not need an update. They don't get updated at the same time always. Sometimes they do. Think of it as our studio being the cockpit of an airplane and R being the engines. You can update one without having to update the other but you can update both of them at the same time as well. In this video, we're just updating our studio. Now you can see this defaulted to Windows for me. You can see that right under option two under install our studio is download for uh, Windows. Now, if you have another operating system, you can scroll down and the other operating systems are there and you can download those packages to get our studio updated. We're going to go ahead and scroll up to option two and click that option. And we're going to save it in my downloads folder. We'll wait for that to download. It should be pretty quick. You can see I've already tried this out once. And once that is downloaded, we are ready to get that installed. After we've clicked on download the file from the Posit website, we need to go to the folder where we save that file. I saved mine in my downloads folder, so I'm simply going to double click on that download file from Posit. That will open a welcome to our studio installation window. We can click next, which will take us to the only option in this installation process, which is the folder where we want our studio installed. Now it generally defaults to the folder where our studio is already installed. So I'm simply going to click next here. This will run through the installation process. It might take a few seconds, maybe a little bit longer on your computer or not. When it's done, we'll get to a completing our studio installation window and we can simply click finish. Once it's finished, we can reopen our studio. You'll notice when it opens that our studio doesn't give you that pop-up window anymore for an update. However, as I mentioned earlier, if you had clicked on remind later or ignore update, you can go to the help menu and select the fourth option down, which is check for updates. That will tell us now that we have the most recent installation. If there's a new version available, that would show up here and you can simply follow the same process. Now, if you need to get R updated, that's a different process. I've covered that in some past videos but stay tuned for a new update on that installation alone. Thanks for watching. If you guys found this helpful, please go ahead and click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.